Hello everybody, I am Cintiq and I am coming to you with another episode of Let's Play Overlord. Previously I'm I had sure just... Shut up, Gnarl! Shut up! Previously I went and got the Tower Heart and now I go to go get even more stuff that is good for the tower, make it more awesome. So let's go see what we can go get. Testing, testing. Oh One, my god. Is, is this thing working? It's you talk incredible. way too much, Narl. All right. Let's get can myself some minions. Back, yes, I can oh. hear you unfortunately. And now, sire, the creatures around here are rather frisky, so they will have undoubtedly repopulated the area. Yep, that's right. That means more sheep killing time. And head for that peasant village. Spree! Revolting name. Alright. Before we get to Spree, I might as well ask you guys, should I be playing this game completely evil and destroy Spree? Or should I take it over and and make them all just so happy to see their precious overlord? I don't know. There we go. Who knows? Killed the sheep though. Let's go over. Oh, more sheep. Where'd he go? How do you get? How do you get away from me? Alright, over here there should be another more vases that I can break open. Hopefully there'll be a single item or two in there. Aw. Oh, nice. Alright. We've got stronger little dudes. Make sure they didn't drop anything, because I don't see Oh, there's there's one with the pumpkin helmet. I see another one with a pumpkin helmet. So so, alright. Let's go. Let's see if there's any breakables that regenerated over here that might give me equipment. Why am I so slow? At least, Gnarl's not bothering me. Yeah, some barrels. Let's see what's in those barrels. Upgraded weapons. Alright. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some vases over here. Let's see what we can upgrade with these. Come on, break the other vases. Come on. There we go. More upgrades. Alright. There we go. Yeah! I am 126% stronger than a force of pure minions. That's cool. Alright. Onwards we go. Bridges up. Can't go that way. Pumpkins are all smashed, so they won't give me any new helmets. Ah, here we go. Come on, move it. Halflings approaching, get ready. Hang on, those ain't our flins. Those ain't Look at the half the helmet. Could be two halflings holding up some armor. <laughs> yeah, oh, I bet that's it. Really? Seriously? I trust those sneaky little wasp names. Mm, maybe you're right. Here, prove you ain't halflings and free our men from the camps down the road. Maybe. I'll think about if it. If you are, stay right there so I can get my aim straight. Now that Lord Spree's gone, we're the last line of defense. We let them in and they'll have us in one of those work camps before you can save tea and cakes. Go on, get out of here. 
Sure you're not a coward like Lord Spree? Whatever. Yeah. There, in the field, greedy little halflings. Use your fireball spell. But how do I use the fireball spell? I don't know how. Pigs. Sounds like a great idea, though. Yeah. We e. ain't letting you in unless you prove you're not one of them knee nutters. <laughs> oh, sweet. That's one quick way of dealing with enemies. Did they leave any gear for my minions? But the master. Come on. Get me the essence. Get me the essence. What's going on now? Cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes. Why is there so many cutscenes? All right. Let's continue on. Treasure, but no equipable items for my guys. Uh, you're wasting my time. Let's give the chance for the fire to spread a little bit. <laughs> give a chance for the fire to die down. Don't want my guys catching on fire. For you. That's what I'm talking about. Killing innocents, and I use the term loosely, increases your corruption level. <laughs> this attracts more evil energy, which increases your powers. However, this is rarely suitable for establishing a long-term evil plan. That requires people, living people. Gratitude comes with its own rewards. You Ooh, oh, is he done talking Our now? Kneecaps are safe from the halflings. <laughs> Although Spree Village is still free, some of our brothers have been held in a work camp down the road. After that halfling, Melvin Underbelly, came back from his adventures, they called him a hero. Then things went very wrong. Melvin used to be small. Well, small for a halfling, anyway. But he developed a vast appetite. No, he's huge. I got too close to him once, nearly lost an arm. His henchmen stole our food and forced us to work in the fields to grow more food for Melvin. They talk way too much. All right, let's continue on. Ooh, a little guard post. This must be the work camp those peasants spoke of. Be careful, Lord. Well, I'm always careful, except when I'm crazy and ignoring you. This is an arcane blood pit. I sire. see what it is. You can sacrifice minions here to regain your own health. Have no fear. Your I don't have fear. I only have you. anger towards you talking <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Yeah, what do we got going over here? Oh, shortcut back to the uh, tower, I suppose. All right. What do we got going on over here? That looks like a, a mana pit. Yeah, it's a mana pit. I know. They allow you to sacrifice your minions and replenish your. Sacrifice my minions. Why would I want to do that right now? There's no point. What do we got going on down here? Alright. Uh, an upgrade, but I can't get to it because it's in the water and these guys have drowned. And so would I, because apparently the Overlord can't swim. Let's head on up over here. And go smash that camp. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. It's time to go kill some things. 
We're going to be getting into some serious fighting here. But that will be next episode. This has been Sintic coming to you with my Let's Play of Overlord. I'll see you again soon.